guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Yvonne from Ginger Chick Rehab. So glad to have you back checking out what I am up to here with my sleeping cat, Rascal, who he is old and he is not well. And But what is it about a sleeping cat that a sleeping animal that just is like, oh, and so the other one's like, hey, you got to give me attention too. Yeah, mom sat down for two seconds. So yes, <laughs> here I'll. I'll lift him up so you can see Squirt. Squirt's been in the videos before. They're actually twins. They're brothers. Yeah, it's, so yep, they're both 11, but Squirt is a little bit more healthy than Rascal. Rascal's just having a hard time lately, so whenever I can get a video of him, I will. So anyway, so today's video, I am taking you antiquing with me. Yep, this is our second antique store that we're going in, sharing with you all the antique stores in our general area where our, our two booths are in our antique world. small that I showed you and then this small are owned by the same owner and that they are right next to each other. So right off the bat you walk in and look at this primitive. Now I think these are types of pieces that you can add into anyone's home. It doesn't just have to be that you have all primitives or you have all farmhouse or all cottage core. It all kind of just works together piece by piece making a home your home. And yes, you know, for anybody interested in a booth, yes, sometimes you just have those pieces, these large pieces that you do need stuff to display. And it does make people sad to see that they're not for sale, but you do need display pieces. And I never gave this a thought when I saw this piece at Ikea that if I had anything I wanted to lock up, ooh, because it is hard to find things shelving and whatnot to display your items in your booth. I will agree with that. I love that idea of locking that.
I always say we like what we like, and I just always love aged metal with that patina. Those are super heavy, probably well worth that price. Where would I put that piggy? Oh my gosh, so many nice things. So many, oh, I wish I had a spot for that. I wish I had the money for that. I wish I could bring that home with me. And look at this neat basket. I spied this little box back here and first I thought it was a door knob cover but no they cut up a belt what a great idea I've lived in this area my entire life and have shopped at these antiques malls as long as I can remember. And it's funny because this is one of the booths I always remember because of all their milk bottles and some of their very unique canning jars. Oh my goodness, would you look? They've just always had this wonderful collection. Definitely when it comes to antique store shopping, there's an array of prices. So never think that you're never going to be able to afford something. Look at all this rusty goodness on this grater. Oh my goodness, $5. What a great price. Still on my forever search of finding a set of white Fiesta Ware dishes. In these tours, you'll probably see me stop and look at a lot of Crocs because I definitely love to look at the uniqueness of them all.
wonder how many hours of work went into this. Oh, look at that epoxy, all those wood pieces. What a unique piece. You have to giggle because as you're going through the small and there's so many things, it's kind of like thrift store shopping. Your eye just knows what your eye likes. And of course, I spy a spool. Are you wondering if I popped into every single one of the booths in these malls? No, I did not. We would be here all day, I think, looking at every little item. So whatever attracted my eye right off the bat is the ones that I went into to share with you all. what I mean when your eye just likes what your eye likes randomly walking past this booth and I'm like oh ooh, some old aged ironstone look at these pictures
what a wonderful way to display those little dusting brooms. I do have a few in my collection also. What a simple little thing to make, a piece of wood, some pegs. Actually, this one just had nails and just something to hang it on. If any of you have any of these and are wondering how to decorate with it, what a cute idea. I think maybe those are bicycle wheels. I'm not sure, but those are cool too. I felt like this paper cutter was very cost efficient to have in our workshop for our paper that we put down on our work tables. Chris, for some reason, didn't think so. Oh, there's so many yummies in this next booth that, one, if I had a place to display them all and then an endless supply of money, they would have came home with me.
If you're wondering, yes, this is still the same booth. Oh my goodness. know what size that booth was but it sure was big so on to finish up the tour we're almost finished So I'll do the closing right here because the kitties don't want me to leave and it's too cold to sit in the car after we get done with those antique malls. They are heated, but yes, there's still a big pole barn building and it's still winter here in Michigan. So I hope you enjoyed the second building antique mall tour. Yes, you could spend hours there. And then, yeah, at the end, when we show you Hog Creek and where our booths are, we'll do a little map of where they are at and some of the eateries that are there because there actually is an eatery in this area where these, the first two antique malls were. So that's awesome. So yeah, so you could definitely make a weekend of just, if you love to antique and check things out, you can definitely make a weekend of it. So thanks for watching today's video. And yep, I will be bringing you another antique mall that's, yep, right down the road from each other.